Capricorn. Capricorn, this is G. Welcome to All Astrology. We are going to go over your August 2022. So there's going to be two new beginnings for you, Capricorn. Two new beginnings and one ending. So here we go. Your first new beginning has to do with your deep emotions. It's a healing, something from your past, something possibly from childhood, but more than likely something from possibly a lover. This is the romance department, somebody you were dating, but it's got this creative energy to it. So it's got like fun and play. So maybe it was while you were having fun, while you were playing or dating, you know, or even mating, actually, because that is that energy. It's that Leo stuff. So Leo is like, hey, I'm, I'm shining. My individual light is shining. I'm standing out. I'm expressing. And in this location, it's about my deep, buried, intense emotions. Now, these can be from other lifetimes, if you believe in that sort of thing, or possibly, like I mentioned in the beginning, from a long time ago, possibly from childhood. So it's a new beginning, but it, it's it's a healing. So this is good. This is really good. Let's flip this card to see uh, what other details we can give you here. Ooh, look at this. We've got Mars and we've got Aries. This, Mar this card is coming up a lot today. Uh, it's standing up for oneself. It's a new beginning. It's a unique thing. It's something that's precious, something that's even rare, something that's unique for you. It's something where we're putting away the old way of doing things. I have a peer thing here, like school partner or um, work partner, or even neighbor or even sibling, or possibly someone at the job, like this is Virgo energy, but there's, there's a, a new beginning. So something is occurring here in your eighth house where there's a healing and that healing is going to allow for this new, beautiful beginning. There's something magical about it because there's like this unicorn energy. And when the unicorn is around, it, it's, it speaks to the third eye opening up. See that antenna? Yeah, that's what we would call an antenna. This assertion and this aggressiveness, like, yeah, this, this isn't happening. This Mars energy has like been stalled. It's stopped. It's like looking, it's, you know, it's, stopped. it's stuck in its tracks and it's like, oh my gosh, look it. I'm out in the wilderness hunting and I come upon this treasure, this beauty. It's almost magical. The color white in itself represents its divine energy for a new beginning for Capricorn. And it's about the, you know, the romance department, possibly forging new bonds, new romantic bonds. And if it's not that, then just creating and laughing and having a good time, you know, and, and being willing to take a risk with your body. You know? Go look for unicorns, maybe willing to cross that river or maybe even go into some water. Like this is going on a journey and hunting new beginnings. It's magical. Make sure that you're open to the divine knowledge. There's wisdom there somewhere coming through for you. And it's going to help guide you on this path. But your uniqueness is, uh, is supported by deity. Now, when we talk about your ending for the middle of the month, the ending is in your house of money. It's money and values. So it's really possible uh, that you're walking away from some friends. So possibly people that you worked with is coming up again because it's your values. Now, it doesn't have to be just at your job, but maybe there were people that were just, you know, you were close to. And so this could be someone who actually has a lover, right? You're like a friend and a lover or even a marriage partner. Because when we talk about our values, it's also our love, right? And it's friends that you value, but you value them quite a lot because it's in your second house. And so these are people who are smart, who somehow increase 
uh, piece in your life and they're very unique. Again, this is Aquarius energy. And every time I talk Aquarius, the unicorn seems to come up. So this is a closure and an ending. Let's turn the card over and see if we can get more information. Wow. Interesting. So the card is upside down. Okay. And that means something. I'll turn it over so that you can see what the card is. This is a couple and uh, masculine feminine energy. We've got Venus down here. And it's significant one-on-one -on -one relationships. So it suggests there is a partnership. And now there's they're dancing. They're literally on a dance floor. And there's music being played in the background. But since the card was upside down, it represents like, hey, the music's over. <laughs> like these people who used to be friendly with me, like we used to have fun together. Like it's not so fun anymore. Or a friend that I was in a romantic relationship with, it kind of went sour. And it's upside down. It could also be a business partnership, but I don't think so because it's definitely, you know, you don't dance with your business partners, right? But it's upside down. So it's like it once was that way, but it no longer is. So maybe, maybe, maybe it started off like with the possibility, but it's something that you're putting the closure on. You're saying, okay, this is done. This isn't a value for me anymore. I'm letting it go. And so that is your your mid-month for August, the closure, the ending, the letting go to make room for the new social circles and friends. Lastly, August, new beginning, Capricorn, has to do with your beliefs, your beliefs about fairness, your beliefs about freedom, your beliefs about justice, your beliefs about traveling long distances and journeys, your beliefs about freedom and truth. This is about your daily routines, your job. So the freedoms at your job, uh, the routines of the job. Do you have freedom in those routines or should you have freedom in those routines? Like there's like this organizing thing to it. There's this practical, tangible, everyday thing that you do, almost mundane. It could have to do with healthcare. Um, this could also be involved with spirituality and religion. So do you travel for work? Do you want to travel for work? This is a very, uh, I'm hearing healthcare energy, healthcare energy, because it's like, yeah, it's got like these Virgo qualities to it. Are you looking for new daily routines within your job? Do you teach? Are you a professor? Because this is also higher learning. This is teaching. This is possibly going to school to take extra education, but it's like about practical, tangible things. You know, it's like about the domestic side of life. So it's like about the details. It's about organizing. You know, it's, it's just helping organizing possibly for foreigners or are you a foreigner? Like it, there's something about that ninth house energy, which is people who are from, who, who don't look like me and people for, who are from other countries. So let's flip this card to see. Interesting. So the new beginning card was upside down and this is uh, definitely somebody at the altar, but it's upside down. So was there some sort of a contract, a marriage? This could be a business partnership. Now, normally you would look at this and say, hey, wait a minute, that's a marriage. Like this is a romantic thing. I got you. It can be. But because Libra is involved, it could also be a business partnership. Now, the children kind of, yeah, it does definitely look, look romantic, but you got to choose for yourself. You got to, you, you know, listening to this reading, I talked about this being practical and tangible. So it's like a practical partnership, right? So have you ever met anybody where, you knew like maybe a friend or possibly even a relative where they were married, but it was really more of like a business partnership or it was a practical union. You know, some people have arranged marriages, right? And so it's like, okay, what the heck? So there's a little bit of that in here. There absolutely is possibly talking about it, possibly. Yeah. This is really interesting that this card came up. This is Leo energy. So it does speak to romance. It does speak to having fun. It's uh, my fun, my joy, my creativity, um, my happy place, and me standing out, right? It's the sun and Leo, right? Because the sun rules Leo. But at the same time, it's Venus. It's Venus in Libra. So this is a commitment, a partnership. And if they're walking down the aisle, then typically, typically that means they've made the commitment to be together. But just remember, since we've got strong Virgo energy present, this can be a practical relationship, right? It doesn't have to be all about um, the Leo stuff, although that's present. So it looks like there's an opportunity here for you. This is a new beginning Capricorn 
what it is that you want. Is love involved for you? Play and laughter and joy and feeling like a child again, a new beginning. Enjoy your August 2022 Capricorn. So below the video, I'll have all the degrees for those of you who like to pay attention to the degrees in your chart. Again, if you don't know and you want to know, just comment below.